to Australia, where at least three people have been killed and more remain missing as bushfires continue to rage along the east coast. The fires have destroyed more than 150 homes in New South Wales and caused thousands of others to flee their properties. The Prime Minister has described the fires as simply terrifying. Now, this satellite picture from the Australian Bureau of Meteorology shows the smoke from the fires stretching across the ocean and reaching New Zealand. Sam Naz reports. <laughs> driving into an inferno. These are the terrifying conditions Australian firefighters are facing as they battle blazes burning across more than a thousand kilometres of the country's east coast. These fires have already claimed two lives that have been confirmed and as the Premier said we're expecting worse news as the day unfolds. There have been hundreds of properties that have been destroyed homes that have been destroyed and as we get access to further areas that have been cut off we're expecting worse news again. The fires that began earlier this week are now burning across huge swathes of New South Wales, the country's most popular state that has suffered severe drought in recent years. This picture taken from a passenger plane shows the scale of smoke engulfing the regions. We're all going to stay here, there's nowhere else where we can go. Really, uh, the bushland's further down, you're going to run into it. If it burns out and goes around us, we should be right. The blazes reached unprecedented levels on Friday, with 17 fires burning at the most extreme danger level. Further north, thousands of people had to be evacuated in Queensland overnight as authorities face another day of fighting multiple fire fronts. We've uh, got 36 fires across the state at the moment. Um, the conditions were extreme to severe conditions yesterday. Uh, really pleased the fact that we've been able to keep that fire number down to that level. Uh, it's been, uh, in saying that, we're not out of the woods yet. There are hopes these blazes will be brought under control, but authorities warn this is only the beginning of a dangerous fire season to come. But even if the threat in New South Wales and Queensland subsides, authorities now need to look across the country where similar conditions are expected to ravage the West Coast in the coming days. Sam Naz, Sky News.